Alright, welcome LEGO fans to another LEGO Jurassic World review, and today we have for you the big one, Indominus Rex Breakout. So I haven't built this set yet, so it'll be a little while before I actually get the review up there, but here's the box, I thought I'd go ahead and show it to you. Pretty massive. Here's Dilophosaurus to compare it to. Um, so I know I said I probably wasn't going to get this one, I'm still holding true to that for the T-Rex tracker, I'm definitely not getting that one, but I realized I really wanted the Indominus Rex, I'd always wanted just the Indominus, and by the time I got that, I was going to be paying for about half the set just for the Indominus, so I thought, well, I got a few gift cards, let me see what I can do. Ended up saving quite a bit of money on the set, so I thought, what the heck, I'm going to go ahead and get it, it's pretty cool. Um, and I've also heard that once you build it, it, it it's better than it looks. Um, I've heard that from multiple reviewers. And I mean, it's not a bad set. I never said it was a bad set. I still don't think it's quite worth the $130 that it is. Um, I think about 110 somewhere in there would, would be good. And also, it just it doesn't look like a uh, 1,156 pieces from the outside, but as long as they're in there, um, I don't really care. Because, well, you're paying for the pieces and the fun time building it and the fun time that you're going to have afterwards. So... Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I thought I'd uh, do this review a little differently, and I'll go ahead and show you everything that's inside the box before I even build it. Uh, so you can see all the number bags and stuff, and what the packaging is like and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and slice this open violently, and then we'll take a look at the contents inside. Well, there is a lot inside this box, obviously. Um, got stuff on the left that I need to keep out from the beginning. The rest of it I'm going to go ahead and pack away as neatly as I can. I always do that with uh, sets with a lot of numbered bags. I try to put the ones uh, with the later numbers towards the back and the ones that we need soon towards the front. So just a little bit of uh, The highest number I saw was 12. So, I got a lot of building ahead of me. So, um, I will see you later on in the review, which will probably be quite a while, for me at least. Alright, welcome to another LEGO Jurassic World review here on Bilbrick 9's channel. If this feels rushed, <laughs> that's because we've already recorded part of it, but my footage got corrupted for some reason. That's luckily, fine. Luckily we found out now before they left, because uh -huh. today we have Andrew and Fanner with yes! us. Yes! Long last. Again! Yes, it's been a long time. The last time they were here was for the fairground mixer. Wait, wrong lever. Over here. <laughs> the fairground mixer, that feels like such a long time ago, even though it was probably like a few months ago. Still. A few months is pretty Yeah, it is. So, today we have for you Indominus Rex Breakout, the largest of the LEGO Jurassic World no sets to date. Indominus Rex. Yes, the Indominus Rex is not included in the set. No, he is. Don't <laughs> worry, but we want to. We don't want to tease him until the end. So this Instead, you have the hashtag dinosaur, LEGO Dinosaur Tower yes, to which is not curb your interest. LEGO for... Dinosaur Tower not included in the set. In <laughs> fact, you have to get three other sets if you want that. <laughs> <laughs> and have the skills to put together the dinosaur skills, tower. Skills, yes. You have to have skills or hacks. Without the dinosaur tower falling over. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So, where is Le Box? Le Box? Le Box. <laughs> Here is oh Le my Box. God, that was... Here is Le Box. So as you can see, recommended ages 7 to 12, set number 75919, it's called Indominus Rex Breakout, it contains Trademark. One, yes, it's a trademark. And it comes with 1,156 pieces, it's a building toy. Jury de construction. Retails for 130 to $133, depending on where you buy it from, I think. And then you get four minifigures and the Indominus, and the four minifigures are Dr. Henry Wu, 
which is a pretty big draw. He's a pretty cool minifigure. Mm -hmm. We also have Zack, and we have two generic, generic characters. <laughs> generic, <laughs> generic. Vet, and an ACU worker. So Maybe if you flip the box around. change his name to Generic Vet. <laughs> <laughs> generic Vex. Generic no, Vet. No, Generic Vet. Wow. And here's the back, shows you some of the features, but... And like, here's a random swivel, because we don't want to spoil them now, do we? <laughs> We're going to show those to you in person. Well, not in person, but on camera. So why do we want to look at a box with still images? So, we will go ahead... Oh, wait, first of all, instruction manual, yes. which is controversial. Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm one of the ones that loves it, because it's only one. Uh, for such a large set, usually they'd have at least, like, three instruction booklets. Okay. Uh, but now they've opted to go with one. Uh, which I like better, because you got a nice binding on the side here. So it's a little more sturdy, because a lot of the small ones get bent and ripped and all that, even before you buy it, and after you buy it, well, that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> and as you saw in the intro, it contains 12 numbered bags, um, with all kinds of pieces inside, obviously. And then it has a minifigure and dinosaur checklist, but this is not complete, mm. because there is another... Uh, Lego store slash Lego store, uh, like shop.lego.com, I mean, exclusive, uh, that contains one more Raptor set where you get the other two Raptors, Echo and Delta. No, not Echo and... Charlie? Charlie, yes. And then you also get Barry and another vet in that set, I believe. So it's kind of like a really small version of this, uh, except it contains two Raptors instead and then the other minifigures. What is Claire kind? Uh, Claire and Owen only come in one set, which I don't uh, really like. Uh, they're in the Raptor... They're in the one with the vet car. It's kind of mm -hmm. like the flagship set for this. That's terrible. I know, you only get the two main... I mean, usually LEGO includes the main characters in, like, yeah. every set. This time they didn't, which really yeah, Don't they include Gray and Zack in more than... No. No. Wow. No. Just Gray only comes in the Lost Story Samblers, and Zack only comes in this one. Is there a single duplication, an actual duplication? The generic vet? No, I don't think so. Wow. Maybe the vet, but I'm not. I don't think so. So there is no duplication in any minifigure for this wave. Not even in dinosaur form. I don't think. Wow. That's a first. People. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it is. So they're probably just using it as a marketing strategy because people. Oh, that's an easy one too. <laughs> well, at least they include the two main characters in one set. Yes. That's only yeah. that's only fifty, I think. Well, it could be disputed whether or not Zack and Gray are the main characters. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, they're would, kind yeah. of the third and fourth characters. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to the minifigures that are in this set. So you get ACU. Yeah, I get the two boring minifigures, or at least the generic ones. So we'll go ahead and start with the vet. So here he is. He's kind of like a discount Robert Muldoon, even though vets and game wardens are kind of like the opposite of each other. <laughs> He has the Indiana Jones fedora, which we've seen in many other sets, not just Indiana Jones. He has a kindly face, uh, and it's only one-sided because the fedora would, that would look creepy if he had another face sticking out of his fedora. <laughs> and on the back he has the Jurassic World logo, and then in the front he's got quite a bit of printing with all kinds of pockets and an ID badge. And then our second generic minifigure is yet another AC worker. I think he's coming like every set. Except maybe that Raptor set I was telling you about that's exclusive. Uh, let me set this down so you can see him a little better. He comes with quite a bit of stuff, including a radio, a uh, helmet since he can fly the helicopter, which we'll see later. Uh, he does come with a secondary face, his scared face when he's being attacked or killed or scared in some way, shape, or form. Maybe there's a ghost in the helicopter. <laughs> Sorry, I've been watching too much X Files later, lately. Awesome show, check it out. Um, and then here is his front. He's got all kinds of blue stuff all over his shirt. It almost looks like a computer in his shirt, but it's <laughs> not. But as soon as you lean forward, he went out of focus, Andrew. <laughs> I don't know why. That is really weird. Stand up. <laughs> Gosh, he can't stand. stand. He can't huh. stand. So there is our generic AC worker. And then, really quickly, here's a look at the body armor, which is no match for Indominus Rex. <laughs> Maybe against a raptor, I don't know. 
I don't think so, because Raptor would just, it. Raptor would just yeah. break your neck. <laughs> so, Andrew and I'll show you Zack yes. in his gyrosphere. Here is Zack in the gyrosphere. They can't see Zack very well. Oh, okay. There is Zack. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I can't so. hear you because I have my headphones on. <laughs> Actually, in the set, he does not come with any yes, headphones. you're right. You're right. Earphones. They do, they do have right. Lego headphones. Oh. Um, they just, I, don't I don't think Zach ever wears headphones. I think he wears earphones. Whatever. They're all the same. They're not all the same. Earbuds are can... different. Headphones, earphones are the same. Yeah. If it's a phone, it's big and yeah. it's padded. If it's a bud, then it's it just Small. fits right in yeah. your ear hole. Exactly. <laughs> and you were saying headphones. <laughs> So let us take apart this gyrosphere and. You just admitted that that was right, you know. <laughs> no, I didn't. I said you would. Well, I said you were right in what, the, is the it distinction. What is the thing that we agree with each other every once in a while? <laughs> Gosh, you act as if it's a terrible thing. This just that never happens, so it was shocking. It does I agree with you about your distinction between headphones and earphones slash earbuds, but in the beginning, you said that he was wearing headphones. Which he is. He was. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Anyway. Yep. I'm trying to get this there. Zach out of this. Uh, you know go, I can let do let that. Ahead, let me just. I want to show the viewers this though. Uh, these are on the side on both sides. I'm just gonna put it back on one though. And that kind of holds it together. But if you want to really take it apart, you have to take off both sides, which are printed by the way. Those are stickers. Then you have to I pull can it apart. Do that. Okay. Okay. I just want to show the viewers. Uh, and then you can get inside to the seat. And then if you could just show them the sticker. Yeah. It's nothing special. It should be a Jimmy uh, Fallon sticker. Or a so great, the sticker not. is where? Yeah, right right there. Can you kind of see it? It's very faint because oh. it's blue and black just like the hmm. driver Like right inside there? Yeah, right there. Right in front of you, I... except it's blurry. So <laughs> I love that. It's kind of hard to get a good... Oh, yeah. I thought can that was a hole. Back it up just a little... I thought that was a hole. Yeah, it's not a hole. Spring break. Uh, so that is. Looks like all. That's the screen. It should have Jimmy Fallon on it, but it doesn't. Yeah. And then the gyrospheres, as I said in the Dilophosaurus Ambush yep. review, are really good because they stay upright. They're not flopping all over the place. Yep. Um, the only thing that's bad about them, I would complain about, actually two things, but they're small. One is that they're kind of hard to pull apart, yeah. and two is that you can only fit one minifigure inside when you could fit two inside in the movie, but yeah. it's just a small well, play. They're really with good. Lego. Couldn't you fit, like, four? I'm, th I'm trying to think. I think it, I, I probably mm. have different sizes. So yeah. I don't know. Uh, good point. Well, with Lego, they usually have one person fits in one thing. Right. When it's a transportation item. A small transportation a item. A transportation item. And then just give them one... Yep. Look at the. Uh, uh, there the is. Zach. No putting on the legs. This and is him not in the gyrosphere. <laughs> yes. And that is the look when he's about to be attacked by the Adopted Rex. Or when he finally realizes what a clean girlfriend he has. <laughs> <laughs> Alan's never gonna get old. It's not. <laughs> I said that the first time we were filming this, yep. and then I forgot. Here is Doctor. Uh, actually, I didn't forget. I didn't need to with say it his syringe and unknown solution. And now, so that you can actually see what he looks like. Specimen XX121 or whatever. Yes. I really, really like these hands. Hmm. I just realized blue. that he they're... He has blue hands. They're light blue yeah. hands. Which for I think gloves, actually pretty right? nice. Yes. Well, they're like the latex gloves that you yeah. pull on for surgery or whatever. And he has some very nice printing. Uh, you can see leg printing and waist printing. Hmm. Which can be rare. And then we have... The Jurassic World logo back Yeah, you there. got it right. <laughs> and his second face, which is him smiling. His evil corporate uh, businessman face. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to cut the recording here because I want to make sure that my footage isn't being corrupted again. But for as long as it's not corrupted, we'll be back in just a moment. Alright, since we're saving Indominus for the end, we'll go and show you the helicopter next. Even though you don't build till bag 7 or 8 for some reason. I don't understand why, because I usually do the mini builds first. Uh, so it's obviously not nearly as nice as the helicopter you get in the $20 set, which is kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> this one, this is a great helicopter. This is like the best Lego helicopter ever. Well, best one, Lego helicopter one of them. ever! But it's still a nice addition to get this in the set. Um, you got the hel you got the propellers on top, and you have another one on the side. We do have some stickers, unfortunately, on the tail fin. Is that what that's uh, called? I 
That's Fine what I'd that. say. And amazingly, right here, this JW409, I looked oh. and that is not part of the set number. Ooh, what? So, yes. Oh. So maybe it's like the actual helicopter yeah. thing from the movie. Yeah, I don't know. Next time I watch the movie, I'll pay attention to that. Now on the front, we have another, yet another sticker on the cockpit. It just has Jurassic World logo and some other things on there. I don't know what those things are. They're very clear, though, so they're probably kind of hard to see for you guys. Mm. Uh, so if you want to get a minifigure in there, the lid just pulls forward, and then even with his body armor and radio and stuff, you can fit the ACU worker in there, which means you can probably fit all the other minifigures in there if you want as well. Although, considering mm -hmm. that Zach doesn't even have his driver's license, I don't think he's going to have a helicopter Just the driving license. part. Yeah, he, he just failed the driving part. Which is the most important I did part. I did fit him in there with the radio before, but right. you kind of have to finagle a little bit. And then, the most exciting part, obviously, is that we have flick missiles. Flick oh, missiles! <laughs> Yay! Um, and then, on the bottom here, you can see the... Uh, landing gear and what I really like is this there's a hole right here and on top of the helipad which I guess I'll go ahead and show you now there's the circle with the Jurassic Park logo sticker on there and this will fit right on there instead of just sitting on the flat pad so it's a little more secure on there so I do like that feature a lot but let's go ahead and start back towards the front do you guys want to take a section no we can nah. just comment as it goes. Okay. Yes. So here's the front gate, which is actually the last part you build. Hmm. I know it's funny. Uh, along the top of the entire structure, you'll see these. It's like lightsaber blades held by clips, so I guess that's to imply that it's an electrocuted... Not an electrocuted... But an electrocuted An electric... Fence. <laughs> an electric fence. <laughs> um, the fence died, guys. <laughs> yes. The fence was electrocuted and it's all charred and black and dead. <laughs> <laughs> And then on the front, we have some orange and blue lights. Only one blue light for some reason. Mm -hmm. We also have, like, this acceleration ramp. Just in case Carl wants to go in there, you know, and... Carl? Yes, Carl. In case <laughs> Carl wants to go in there, you know. In case a car... Don't discriminate oh. against Carl. <laughs> Carl the T-Rex. No, Car Carl the Dino Oh, the Dino Tower. tower. So, collectively, they are known as Carl. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> as I was saying, it's like an acceleration ramp in case you want to, like, kill yourself and drive in there and let like, Dominus eat you. <laughs> well, that's a fun thought. Yeah. And we have some warning stickers, just just as a last way for Jurassic World to say this was not our fault if you want to go in here and kill yourself well, by getting I, in. Well, I think that having... <laughs> I, I think that the stuff on the sides there, that's, like... When you see the lines on the side of the road that's like right by the shoulder. Oh, yeah, you know, maybe. It's kind of like, well, I can see that there's no road over there. Why are you putting a line? It's <laughs> so that you know there is no road over Just there. Just in case there's a lawsuit, they can say, we had the warning stickers <laughs> there, so it's not our fault. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, and then on the side, we have some little panels on the gate. Uh, with the Indominus Rex silhouette on them, those are not printed. Unless I say it's printed, just assume that it's not, okay, folks? Oh. Silhouette? There? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh. I, like, uh, I thought you meant Rambai. like there was a silhouette of the Indominus Rex on the <laughs> sticker, and I'm like, what? Yes, Indominus Rex is right behind you, Fanner. He wants to eat you. Now, wait, now. If there's an Indominus Rex silhouette. <laughs> We'll see him later. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, um, the front gate does close. That's a good thing, right? Just, yeah. just in case. World, Jurassic World gate? Yes. <laughs> just in case you want to keep the Indominus Rex inside and yourself outside. So these little brown lever things on the sides here are how you close the doors. Um, like that. It doesn't quite fit mm. together, but I mean, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good design, I think. I think that actually looks pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I can I can do that, and then it's almost. Yeah. If you hold it for your <laughs> entire lifetime, it stays <laughs> shut, guys. <Yes. laughs> and then on the top, even that's not perfect. We have Jurassic World stickers, um, yeah, and then these stickers. will fold forward if you want mm. to do that for some weird reason. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> Anyone just I guess in case there's a, uh, it's raining and people want to get yeah, sheltered by yeah. the rain. <laughs> exactly. 
It's raining, guys. I'm gonna hide, uh, hide behind this Rex one. paddock. It's I raining, Gallimimus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the Gallimimus. That should be a song. Oh, it's raining, Gallimimus. It's raining, Gallimimus. I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll go to this side first since it's a little less exciting. Uh, at the corner here, no, there's, there's at least some stuff to do over here. Over mm. here, there's not at yeah, all. Yeah, barely. <laughs> uh, so up here we have some searchlights that might help you search for Indominus. Uh, <laughs> or will there you are, Indominus. Cuttlefish <laughs> DNA. <laughs> yeah, cuttlefish. Hashtag cuttlefish DNA. I want some cuttlefish DNA. What? <laughs> With this whole, uh, what is it, transhumanist movement? Uh, Rhett and Link were talking about. Oh yeah. Where people don't want to be people anymore. Like I can, I can say, I was born to be a cuttlefish. <laughs> <laughs> so I can get cuttlefish DNA. <laughs> I gonna... was born to be a llama. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yeah, you can be a part human and part llama. Or you can get a golf cart in, in your torso and <laughs> drive people around. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> anyway, so on the side here we have this little alcove with a tranquilizer gun. This is a new tranquilizer gun, by the way. This yes, is the same is. one that we saw mm -hmm. in Lego Dino. And we get both types in the Jurassic World Wave, I believe. So we have the new gun and the dart inside. And then we have these electro prod things. We also get one in Dilophosaurus Ambush and probably another set or two. Um, it's a great idea to have it on the outside, right? Well, on the outside. No, one, no one's going to be inside. Mm -hmm. So they kind of have to keep it on the outside so that people can run and get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm of... saying you think they keep it in a building. Oh, like if oh, the escapes, yes. you don't want to be outside. Yes. Okay. Just so the well, I guess I would ro robbers would go and steal it. I don't think there've been any robbers going to the <laughs> Dominus Rex paddock looking for weapons. What about Dodson? He might come. I uh, Dodson. <laughs> Dodson. Dodson. Would come Dodson. I, nobody would care. For... Yeah, nobody Dominus. would care. Nobody cares. Nobody would care if Dodson <laughs> came, as long as he didn't touch the dinosaurs. All oh, right. Or bring his uh, sonar thing to. Sonar. You have to read the Lost World. You can't watch the movie. Dodgson isn't in the movie. I remember that part. Yeah, I remember he brings that big... Well, I don't know if it's sonar, but he brings this high-pitched noise to distract the dinosaurs while he's stealing their oh, eggs. Oh, right. So then, this whole side is pretty boring, although there is a function. I almost forgot about it. Um, we've got the some little lights and levers and some more lightsabers on top. Lightsaber. And what happens when you pull this nope. lever is... Nothing! Aww. But you have to break it yourself. No, you have so. to pull both of them, guys. <laughs> because those lovers did so much. Yes. So yeah, the wall hey, is there's built. There's redstone right by it. Yeah! Oh yeah, we got some redstone right here. <laughs> but that redstone's pointing the opposite direction. <laughs> so we have the two sections of wall. Uh, that come apart. It's a little hard to get them back in there. The first one goes easy, but then the second one is a little tricky, but I've kind of perfected it. You'll have to play around with it the first let's few times. Let's see here. Let's see if I can do this. There you go. See? I, I guess I'm it's kind of like loosened up in there. Yeah, you know? it's, you gotta, you it's can't like, up by you, now. you can't, you can't force it in there. You gotta like, sort of see, oh yeah, you gotta turn it this way. Yeah. And... Yeah. It's, the first couple times it was really tricky, but you know. Yeah. I've broken the wall a few times, I'll admit. This is <laughs> Break down this wall! Tear down this wall, Indominus! Now I'm comparing Mr. Bulbachev to the dinosaur <laughs> <Minnesota> hybrid. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be proud. Yay! Hey. Examine it. Ooh. Well, not yet. Don't show it to the viewers yet. So no. down here, it's pretty boring. Really, the whole reason for this alcove is so that Indominus will fit inside. If there was not that alcove, the tail would not fit. Huh. So that's why we have this. And then there's still a gap here. So I guess in case a bird gets inside, you know, and Dominus is Indominus trying to eat it, it yeah. Uh, yeah. He, they can fly out here if oh, they want to. Oh, that's ah. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a thought. Uh, then up here we have the helicopter pad, and below it we have a little guard security room. We got some searchlights going on out here. And real quick in front, uh, we have a. Whoops. Uh -oh. I guess it's a little too loose now. Um, 
if it does get too loose, I suppose you could add a couple more jumper plates. But anyway, right here we have another tranquilizer gun. It's the same type that we saw before. And of course, I'll move up and down to shoot Indominus, although it'd probably already be too late at that point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and one more thing I wanted to show you about the helipad. Uh, not only do we have some little lights around it, here and here. Well, actually, here, 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 and here on all here, four here, sides. Here, 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 and here. Yes, let me go ahead and zoom it out. Uh, yes, we get, actually we get three mm. of these pieces, two of them are on the set and one of them is extra. I've seen these on Roost before and Fanor thinks it's like to get smoke out or something. I, I, I don't We're not exactly that. sure what they're for. We don't, we're not homeowners don't, yet. Don't slam us in the comments. Yeah, we're not homeowners <laughs> yet, so we don't know these things. Uh, but they're a really cool piece, I've never seen them before, that's too close. Oh, that is? Okay. <laughs> thought it would, I thought it would focus. Yeah. I don't know, well as we know my camera's giving me problems. I hate technology. <laughs> like Dr. Grant. I love it and I hate it at the same time. Yeah, I was just about to say, yeah. you're a YouTuber who hates technology. Yes. <laughs> love it and hate it at the same time, but that's... that's Imagine so... if Dr. Grant created a YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, she'd never do that. <laughs> Sam Neill might have a YouTube channel, I don't know. San Diego? What? San, San, San Neill. Oh! Yeah, San Diego has its own YouTube channel. Probably does, actually, I don't know. Hey, yeah, for... For Jurassic Park San Diego. Oh, yes. Yeah, Jurassic Park San Diego. SeaWorld, San Diego Zoo, now Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. And so then we have this little control room area. Oh. Uh, has opening doors on both sides. Put it there? Yeah, I know. This I is a new type of door. I, um, I haven't seen these before with the bars in them. I guess it's just to reinforce the glass, though, in case Indominus uh. jumps up there and break, tries to break in. Yeah, and inside I, I think he has. Those used to be windows, not doors. Really? Well, how can they open them? I and it has to be a way out. Yeah. I, I think they modified the window to become a door. Or it could just be a very fancy door. Could be. Could be. So inside, um, I wish this came off uh, easily, but it doesn't because it's kind of dark. Um, but in the Jurassic Park, it's always saying in the darkened control room, so yeah. I guess it's fun. Uh, we have a swivel chair. Mm -hmm. In case they get bored. We also have, of course, a coffee cup. A coffee cup. coffee cup. I'll go and take this off so I can show you the computer screen. Sorry about the shakiness. Uh, there's the computer screen with the Indominus Rex silhouette, except it's not, this time it's not just a face. And then we have a really, really cool piece. It's another draw. The amber! We have a piece of amber. I think this might not be. Not real amber, guys. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. Um. I think this actually might be modified from a piece from the Chima wave. Hmm. But obviously this is bad. Uh, before it from Lego Atlantis. Hmm. Atlantis, really? Mm -hmm. Uh, the second wave of Atlantis. Oh, the second wave. Okay. Yeah, I didn't really. I don't think I got any from the second wave. If you're um, not showing it, I have. Okay. That's the mysterious right there. <laughs> if you're done showing it, what? I What? What? <laughs> There's Amber. <laughs> You're trying to do this. No, I'm not. I was I'm gonna just say, just that's a terrible Mizrani impression. No, <laughs> no, I can't do Mizrani. That's. No. No, I can't. No. I don't I, think any of this can. It, it would end very badly. <laughs> very I badly. Know. I wish they hadn't killed him. I like this character. Yeah. He wasn't. He was kind of like just a tiny bit more arrogant than John Hammond. Than John Hammond? Well. Not in the book. Not in the book. He was way better than John Hammond in the book. Oh my gosh. But, uh, well, maybe they're about the same in the movies. I don't know. I thought they were going to make him a bad guy. I really did. Oh, wow. Really? It was Ronnie, but they uh -huh. didn't. I mean, not really, anyway. I guess I guess he was kind of a bad guy since he was such a terrible helicopter pilot. Bad on them all through. Well, he wasn't yes. terrible. He just wasn't experienced enough. Right. Oh, sorry. It's crooked. He wasn't experienced for a ton of flying down. Blah. No. Flying no. creatures. Pterosaurs. Flying on. creatures. Eh? Flying creatures. Okay. Flying creatures. Flying coming. dinosaurs. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> it hurts my ears. Well, you need to listen to the tape. <laughs> so you have some, just in case you, you're not, just in case you have not seen any of the other warning signs around, <laughs> or if you're just not smart enough to realize that this place is dangerous to begin with, you got some more. Uh, warning signs. We also have some broken glass. That is a sticker, by the <gasps> broken way. Broken glass? Show Ms. Ronnie! Oh, wow! Oh, There's yes. broken glass. Show Ms. Ronnie! Right, the, the, the other way. Oh. That way? <gasps> yeah, with his face. Whoa! 
<laughs> then on top we have a service crane because you know you don't want to go in there and hand feed Indominus. So we have a service crane with more warning stickers, um, and then we have some more lights on top. This opens up so you can fit someone inside, probably the vet. Although I don't know why the, I don't know, would the vet be feeding them? You think they have like some guy who sits around all day until it's feeding time? Uh huh. Um, so the crane is movable in two, actually three locations. Those two, and then this will move as well. And then as for what it's holding, it has this whole big contraption just for two boxes, each with one piece of chicken inside, because we one know piece. it's going to satisfy the <laughs> So then we can pick that up. Hey, the Dominus wasn't, what was the thing that, uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. You know, pick it up and make sure that it does not hit anything, otherwise you will drop all the food and Indominus will get angry and probably end up Breaking the law. Breaking out. Breaking the law? <laughs> Just like he <laughs> does in the name of the set. Oh, he's invisible right now, so... Yeah. <gasps> you didn't see my hand. <laughs> you did not see my hand. So then you can move this around, and this time it doesn't matter if it falls, so we can roughhouse it all we want. And of course now it won't fall off. Uh -huh. There we go, you have to lift it up abruptly. Lift it up abruptly. Abruptly. And then our final function on the, on the corner here is our gyrosphere launcher. And why is there a gyrosphere launcher exactly. on the edge of the Endeavor Specs pack? I don't know, but I'm not complaining because it's another function. I think it's so that if you're taking the tour and you go over to the Indominus Rex pattern to observe, you, then you can be shot back. You can't. It's not on the tour, I don't think. Not. Not yeah, the gyrosphere it, has its own value. Yet. Oh. So it rolls pretty well. Obviously, yeah. it rolls a lot better if there weren't things in the way. My table's very cluttered. I really do need to clean it off. Yes, you do. <laughs> but um, I need some more shelves first, which hopefully I'll be obtaining before two. Shelves? Long. Yes. Shelves. <laughs> shelves. Uh, I just got shelves while I was down in the keys. Shell. Yeah, shelves. I really need to edit that footage. But I have to add narration, so it's going to be a lot of work. I've been putting it off for so long, I really need to get around to it. So I know if I don't get around to it before summer's over, I never will. Until next summer. <laughs> and then I'll probably will just have forgotten about it by then. <laughs> so, let me cut the, f cut the footage, make sure that all of this got recorded. I'm gonna, we're probably all going to go insane if it didn't, and I'll just run away and leave me to do it by myself. No, we'll just play Minecraft and forget about it. <laughs> Minecraft? Whoa! Mine, mine. <laughs> we're not that good yet! <laughs> and then we'll be back to show you the main feature, which you'll get a quick glimpse of now. No, it's not a rap song. <laughs> it's Indominus Rex. Unless I don't think either Indominus of those Rex outcomes. He is so cool. <laughs> I don't. I don't think either. I of love those his scales, his teeth, expected. and drool. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord! I'm gonna save us. <laughs> anyway, so here is Indominus Rex. He is well. Let's go and compare him to T Rex. Sorry, I have to take the Dino Tower. No. Oh, oh gosh. God. What? Carl died. Carl. No, Carl just got separated. Yeah, Carl. He'll, he'll, he'll be reassembled later. Oh, that's right. This is Lego. Yes. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> uh, so wow, look at how powerful Indominus is. It just wrecked a gyrosphere. gyrosphere. Well, he does that in the movie. Yeah. So. Does I know? But I mean, <laughs> Indominus in Rex. Lego, he does. Yes, Indominus Rex. But anyway, here's a bit of a size comparison. Um, really, the only thing that's different is the head. The, well, on the arms. The head and the arms are... Uh, as far as size goes, in, they're really no, the only a little difference. Same, yeah, the, the legs are exactly the same. The jaws open wider for Indominus, which I like a lot. And then obviously the arms are longer because he has uh, other dinosaur DNA and cuttlefish. So cuttlefish. He's probably got like a little tentacle growing. Maybe these are like little tentacles growing out right here. Maybe. Um, and here's his arms. Doesn't have tree frog DNA too? Tree frog? I didn't hear that. Frog? Something well, they all have frog DNA. Yeah, they all have Oh, yeah, frog. Okay. And, well, at least amphibian DNA. Yes. I think they learned their lesson from, yeah. from Jurassic Park. So just a couple close-ups here. I like the spikes along the top, but then we also have a few studs here. Honestly, I would have preferred just continuing the, the spikes. Because, uh, I mean, well, I guess I guess little kids would enjoy putting people on the back. Well, yeah, and it's also so that if you... 
If you're like this. Brotherhood Workshop and you want, well, <laughs> Brother, you could do that. If you're uh, like Brotherhood Workshop uh, and you uh, might yeah. want to develop <laughs> a saddle yes. for the Rex. So. Uh, Brotherhood Workshop actually had a really cool technique mm -hmm. because as you can see, if I want to give, uh, well, actually before I explain this, I need to show you one of the features. Uh, the Indominus Rex arms can actually hold many figures, like the Cave Troll and Goblin King can, which I think is pretty cool. Mm, yeah, um, yeah. But the arms are not long enough for him to like actually feed it to his mouth. So they came up with the cool image thing where they actually took the arms apart because it comes out there, and then you can also take the hand apart. So they like, split it all up and made it look like the arm is longer than it actually huh. was. So I thought that was really cool of them to be able to do that. Um... Then the, the mouth only has two joints, uh, so for stop motion, that might present some problems. I'll have to work out while I'm doing my contest video. Well, you can just put it in between. Uh, it's, it's a lot it, harder to it, do. It's harder, but... T-Rex was easy. Oh, yeah. But Indominus is not going to... Mm -hmm. Like, look, that's the, that's the best I can do between that and that. So, you can also use clay. That can help as well, so I might have to experiment around with that. And luckily, this guy's white, so uh, oh, yeah, white clay is the easiest easy. to get your hands on. Uh, raptors and Dilophosaurus, it'd be almost impossible. Because <laughs> if you look at this, there's no way to get in between. Close. Well, I guess you can do halfway, but that's it. But anyway, so here is your look at Indominus. Unless you're really cool guy. Unless you're holding it down. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh. Uh, he's got the neck pivot up and down, jaws open and close. Arms move up and down, hands swivel all the way around, he's got some little spikes there as well, and then of course the legs move. And one thing that's different about Indominus and the T-Rex, which I like that they've worked out, T-Rex is all clicky with the legs, and Indominus is not. Huh. Now the head is still clicky, but um, uh. whatever. And the tail does swivel if you want, but that's still done. T-Rex is in just Lego Jurassic World or Lego Dino? Uh, he was in both. You got two T-Rexes uh, in the Lego Diamond Wave. One was this color, and one was green, and I got both of those. Um, the T-Rex Tracker one is extremely similar to this. He's got just got a little bit of patterning difference. Um, so really there's no reason to get that for me. And then the actual set is worse than this. <laughs> this set, now that I built it, I kind of like it. It's not the worst, it's not the best, it's, it's in between. Um, I think it's one where after you build it, you like it a little more than you did when you first see it. But I think that's how it is with a lot of sets. Uh, not all of them, though. Like the new Ninjago set. The new Ninjago set is coming out. The Air Jitsu uh, Dojo or Temple, whatever. It looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I don't like Ninjago, but that set looks amazing. But anyway, thanks for tuning into this video. But first of all, I almost <laughs> forgot ratings. Yeah, I was just ratings! Say, what are you doing? Okay, so for the build. Um, Price per piece, a little off, but considering that we get Awesome Indominus, that's the new nickname, Awesome Indominus. Awesome Indominus. We get Henry Wu. I saw your uh, shortening of it called the Irax. Yeah, you can call him that too. Um, so considering we get Indominus, we get. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> What? Instead of all of the Apple things where it's like iPhone, iPad, oh, oh, the it's I Rex. It's the iRex. <laughs> new <laughs> from Apple. Yes, new from Apple. We have the iRex. Your own personal by your own personal virtual dinosaur. Hey, remember, yep. It's um, me folks. <laughs> remember Biosyn was gonna make miniature Yeah, dinosaurs, pet dinosaurs. Uh, so a miniature IREX. Yeah. That uh, chews on your toes while you're sleeping. <laughs> Wear I don't think it was. I don't think it would. I don't think it would chew on your toes. It would bite them off. Well, if it's a miniature one. It's still. Probably yeah. Uh, so anyway, we get all kinds of cool pieces in the set. Um, what else? We got the, the tranquilizer guns. Um, the lightsaber beams. Hey, if you ran, if you were running low on lightsaber beams or you lost them, but you still got plenty of hilts. This set is here to help. I, I just buy this set for lightsaber beams. Everybody had at least two Star Wars sets knows what it's like to lose the beams. But not the hilt. Yeah. It's What's terrible. The hilt? Uh, the hilt oh, is the part they're holding. The oh. part. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, so for the build, I think I will give it a 9. So what do you say for play, Andrew? Would 9 be giving it too high? Uh, maybe it's a bit high. 8? 
Yeah, I'm thinking about eight. You yeah, the, eight. You got the opening doors. You got the gyroscope like launcher. Play functions. You had the crane. I, yeah. think, I didn't even mention the little ladder you got over here. I mean, it's not really a play feature. But then you had the collapsible wall that the Indominus can hit instead of flicking a lever. A little different. And one thing that, well, and then the last one is the helicopter launching pad. One thing I forgot to mention is that all this is connected by ball and socket joints. Ooh, so, yes. uh, so you can move it pretty easily. Yes. The corners make it a little difficult, um, but it's definitely easier to move than some, like with the, um, the black clip, you know, the black Technic pins. Mm, yeah. uh, ball and socket joints are a little more versatile in that way, so... Yeah, about an eight for the build, I'm thinking. And I like how this the helicopter from the other set has ball and socket joints. So yes, you can yes. Move it in any way you please. And then what do you think for display fan? I'm right? going to give it an 8.7. An 8. Because points. it doesn't feel like it's good enough for a 9. But then you also have the Indominus and stuff, and like Henry Wu, so know. it's like, it's more than an 8, but it's less than a 9, so 8.7. Yeah, the yeah, only, um, really the main complaint about display for this one is that Indominus is so cramped inside, so you want him to be breaking yeah, out the Indominus in display. is cramped, and if you wanted to do him breaking through the wall without the wall just being in pieces, it's going to be pretty difficult to do. Right, so you might want him coming out the front door instead. Yeah. He can fit out that front door? Amazingly, it is possible. You gotta get his feet in just the right way. <laughs> I don't think the Indominus would take that time to get his feet the right way. <laughs> no, she'd just smash right through Yeah, it. smash right well, through Yeah, it. I mean, part of this part of probably broken off. He pro no, <laughs> he'd, he'd probably communicate I, I would, to if, if, another yes. dinosaur and have them do it. If, I, if it wasn't mean to destroy your set, I would just go... <laughs> yeah, please don't. That way. Please don't do the Dominus Rex breaking wow. through the wall. You break it, you build it. Uh, what was that noise? <laughs> you, you, you break, break it, it, you build it. Build it. <laughs> okay then. Andrew Builder, can he fix it? <laughs> so, anyway, thanks for tuning into this no, Lego. He, yes, he can. <laughs> yes, he can. So, thanks for tuning into this uh, Lego Jurassic World review. Stay tuned for the uh, contest's stop motion video with Indominus Rex versus Smaug to see who will win. I'm, st I'm, still, th I'm still thinking about who's going to win. What? Um, but he probably, is fire. He's he death. He is death. death. So, uh, he is death. <laughs> what's that? Death. That's, what, that's how he says it. No, you were like. Bleh. <laughs> yeah. He's deaf. I can't He's hear deaf. anything. <laughs> He's dead. Sorry about all the shakiness. Uh, so, well, eventually you'll probably get to the uh, two Raptor Jurassic World sets. Probably not immediately, though. Um, so maybe some of the Minecraft sets. I do like the Nether Fortress, but that one's oh, kind yeah. of expensive, and I just that's, bought this one. So. That's probably the only one from the new Minecraft wave that I'm going to get. Yeah. Especially mm -hmm. since... Bilbo has been yelling me all the time to build the sets I already have. Yes, so. yes really, please do. Please do, because then I can review them. And you still have the Tower of Warthunk. It's awesome. Which has not been built. It has been taken out, but yes, put taken right back out. in. That should be a crime to have the Tower of Warthunk and not build it. Oh, by the way, for uh, Jurassic World, I think it's going to come out on DVD or Blu-ray in October. They have a very special um, deluxe pack that comes with Indominus and T-Rex statues. Although, I think it's pretty expensive, so maybe for Christmas, you might want to ask for that. Uh, look it up on Amazon, it's already there, I believe. So, we still got some cool things coming. Um, and then, of course, once Andrew has figured out how to yes. do it, we will have the Imagine Dragons Amelie Arena Tampa concert for these guys. Once I can figure out, there, any of you knowledgeable people in the comments, please put in the comments how to export a file, a video file, that you have recorded from an iDevice, like an iPhone, to the PC, I would really appreciate that. That would help me get the footage out sooner, because currently I have no idea how to get it from the iPhone yeah. to the computer. So stay tuned for all those cool things and more. We will see you next time, and goodbye!